I'm nearing the end of this world, but I still have quite a bit of love to give it, so I want to spend over 50 hours building, terraforming, and engineering. I want to do a lot of this during livestream, and already jumping into the first one where I spent two hours terraforming between the railroad and mountainside, where I now have this, and I'm starting to like it. I can already imagine this going all the way down over here. I didn't spend the full two hours over there as I also fixed up the terrain over here as there was a big gap, and I didn't touch this little area here on stream as I want to decorate it a bit. And we're going to need a few blocks for that and uh, I'm out of course dirt. So let's grab up oh, my moles out of dirt as well. Let's grab four stacks of dirt. Fly up and around to the building factory. Oh, it's going to be so nice having access to gravel this easily as we can turn all of this into coarse dirt and that is more than enough as we only need about a stack. I should be able to grab up all of the blocks I need. I need some spruce fence, some trap doors. Going to need to make a few more spruce support slabs. Make one more set of trapdoors, two campfires. Let's grab a barrel, which heading over to the ship workbench here. I want to create a spruce crate out of rotating our storage, which I'm still absolutely in love with, where I need to grab two oak fences. Nope, that's jungle stamp and just a few acacia leaves. I don't need a lot of blocks, but it does make a difference. And I want to start with extending out the coarse dirt a bit. Before we give some spruce slabs on here, let's grab our campfire, spruce trap doors, and some other stuff. As right here, let's grab in two campfires, and actually, I want to place those that way. I do have soap touch on this. No, no, that way. There we go. Can distinguish those. Then stack up some trapdoors on this to create a little bit of a bench. Or what if we even take away this trapdoor, add in a spruce crate. Just stick a flower pot on top of that. And over here, maybe some of our jungle fences to create a little bit of a, like a bush. Something just like this. Looks a little odd, maybe up close, but no, I quite like it. And I do want a little bit of a barrier And hello there. Um... I'll actually buy the alliums. Alliums, thank you very much. That's, yeah, that's all I want. Let's just continue my fence a bit. Something like that, and you can get a nice view over the farming area and our eventual terraforming. And just a small little bench and some flowers up here, and I think it looks pretty good. Also added in a little bit of a lantern to keep it a little mob safe. Another thing I did notice is that I do have a door up here, and well, because I never really moved into the starter house... I never really fixed up this area up here. So I'm thinking if we just extend a little bit of coarse dirt up the mountain here and run it all the way over to this little pathway over here. Doesn't have to be the biggest of paths as this is not a path that's walked too often. Now just a swallow path already looks good. I think I do need to replace the dirt before I can do this next step here. And I'm sorry, Lum, but you're gonna have to go. As what I wanna do is take up a lot of bone meal I don't want a lot of flowers, but I do want a lot of tall grass. And just trust me here a second. Where we right now have a lot of tall grass in here, it kind of guides the player in between the paths a little bit. Maybe a little more even in here to guide the player even more and back to the original path. Which is a really, really cool way to just kind of like, hmm, there might be something through there because there's a little bit of a gap. And maybe we can even include a little bit more grass right up here just to guide our eyes just that little bit more to the path and not to this area up here. And now with even more grass, I think it makes it even more prominent. It might be a little hard to spoil it, but with the help of the core dirt, I think it's really quite cool. Oh yeah, I really, really like this feel up here. I also didn't have the time to texture the rocks right over here by the bottom. So let's just quickly go ahead and do that. And to finish them off, just cover them a bit in some glow lichen, which they definitely look a lot better. I've got so many hours left of building here, and I am quickly running out of food, so I want to do a quick little harvest of my fields as I as I need some more BLTs. And while we're waiting for that to arrive, yep, we have a lot of pigs ready to be slaughtered. Stack of cork shop, and hopefully we have a stack of cabbage leaves. Yes, we do. And I was told this last time, and I do know this. I was just a little too lazy to shop my cabbage. And I have an auto clicker here, which I want to try. How fast would this be? Uh, okay, maybe I won't use that. <laughs> that was... Okay, now I know this is the most bulkiest thing, but could I use this? As I really just want to smoke it, can I just... Oh, no, no. All oh, right, the filters. Okay, never mind. I'll set it up, I swear. I'll use it sometime, okay? Give our wheat a quick wash. 
And now we can make ourselves some more BLTs. With our food supply now restocked, I want to do some work over here. This is an area I haven't really touched since, well, episode 2. And um, that was a while ago. And well, I want to replace this cobble generator. Because it's very laggy and I need a little more stone output as well. So I want to replace it with a battery design instead. But to do that, I've got to start taking it apart first. Feels very weird removing this as I built it so long ago, but it had to go. But we do need something to replace it. So I need to spend a little bit of time here gathering up a few new components to create the new cobble generator. Now I've got everything gathered up except some gunpowder. Okay, I have gunpowder. Thank you. Would have been a bit annoying if I didn't. Now let's see settings. We're gonna do replay solid with empty. Protect entity. Yep, yep. Take some gunpowder. Throw that in here. We'll, we'll throw in all of it. I, I, I think that's gonna be enough. And then we'll go. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, right, it all seems to be done. I fixed the actual liquids in here, which need a little bit of digging, but I've got it done. Now I need to get a... I need to get one of these in there perfect and i think that should activate i don't think i have to do anything now i think maybe yeah it should work but before we can start the machine i need to head up here to the steam engine where it's very loud but i need to turn cobblestone on where if we head in here yes this is all spinning i need to find i need that and I need to change that to 256. Perfect. Because this cobblestone farm is actually so fast that it, it, it can't keep up if it isn't at max speed. Now, all I should need to do to start this, and we should probably prepare over here as well. Getting in one more encased drive to connect up the rotation. That is spinning the wrong way. Nothing we can fix with a gearbox, however. And correct. Cool. Now, why don't we, while we're at it, also add in a brass funnel right over here to get things outputted up there. And, ooh, right. Okay, I need, well, we just need to do a quick little redstone link here, which is the thing I didn't have. I think gravel on top and cobblestone on the bottom to lock this funnel whenever the vault up at the top gets full. And I'll show you why in just a second here. If you don't remember all the way back from episode two, as we just got to try and turn this on. Hmm? Ooh, yes. Are we, we're getting cobblestone. That's what we like to see. Because if we look up here, you can see that, well, it doesn't go straight into the vault. It just kind of flies off the end of the belt. And uh, we need that right there to tell us when the vault is full so that we don't just have a lot of items sitting on the ground. And I've already got it hooked up here to the threshold switch. So when the vault up there fills up and this vault eventually fills up, it will all turn itself off and there will be no lag for me. But I didn't want to do this refurbishment only for the lag, as I also want to get some more output and I want to actually make a gold farm. Yeah, I am so far into this world and I still haven't made a gold farm and I want to make it quite a simple one. I don't need a lot of gold, but it's nice to have a supply of it. So I want to turn this cave in here to a gold mine to produce some gold for us. And the first thing, I think I want an elevator. An elevator is going to be so cool. A mine elevator. Oh, I've had this planned for months. I just haven't done it. Now, I definitely want something wooden for this elevator. So I think I'm going to use a little bit of spruce, some trap doors, maybe some fences. We'll see what we do. But the more important part is definitely going to be our elevator pulley, which, yes, I do have a little bit of dried kelp, an iron sheet. I should have brass casings. Perfect. There we go. I should also have some redstone contacts just because I've been building with them. Yeah, there we go. And I do want the elevator to start up here in the elevator. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's an elevator house of some sort. Basically, this is where the engine for the elevator is and the engine... Blah, blah, blah. Words are hard, okay? Look, look. This this is the house where the elevator mechanics happen and then the elevator is below it. And, um... Uh, uh, look, wait. However, I do think this one is a little off-centered, so I can't use the middle of it. But I'm going to try in the very, very corner and see where that ends up if I just dig straight down. 
Um, yep, that's quite good, actually. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. Up here, I don't have too big of a plan for how the elevator itself is going to look. But I do know I need a redstone contact like that. And then if we can craft down these into some slabs, we can maybe get those on the edge like that. And then if we have some spruce fences to cover the sides. And how do we do some sort of a roof for this then? What if we get some palisades going? I actually like that. Okay. Get that going around. Makes it look a little more secure. We can place a slab in the middle. And quickly hopping up here. I do have a few trap doors that we can just line the top with. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's something for now. Now we just have to figure out how to hook it up to power. Now, how was it you activated these? Was it just like that? I can honestly not remember. Did you just... Oh, yeah. Okay, you just click it. That wasn't very hard. Okay. I forgot you needed a contraption controller. Because without one of these, it's going to be a little hard to control the levels. I think I'm going to place it right here. Might move it in the future, but for now, it can go there. All right, we're at level one. And we can go down one floor. And perfect. Cool. Ugh. I don't really like that though. And actually looking at it down here, it actually doesn't look that bad. And I, I did I did replace the palisades with some gates up there. And I think that really helped it out. And also the little taller roof. I think it's good. And this down here is still working and it's filling up. Perfect. Yep, it's filling up because it doesn't need anything anymore. Now I'm going to need to fly over the mountain here and grab my beacon on the other side. Get the beacon built up over here at the mine instead where we can actually put it to use for now. I do need to put it back over there as I... I still need to dig out the river a bit more, but I'll do that in the future. Let's give myself some haste too here and let's get to digging. Because I actually want to take this elevator not only down to where I want to do the gold, but all the way down because I actually want to use it as mine and I should have done this so long ago uh, that I didn't. So let's do it now and um, time to get to digging. Well, that's an issue. The beacon doesn't reach this far down. I thought it had unlimited range downwards, but I guess not. And this should be minus 16. And this is where gold is most common. So I think it will be fitting if we have the elevator and the actual gold farm down here. Um... Yeah, it's going to be a little annoying mining all the deep slates and uh, getting down here because it's going to take a little while. But I think it's going to be worth it. And I think it's going to be fun to see the deep side around us when you're at the farm. But first, I have to get up from here. So click that. And yep, it's coming for me. Elevator has arrived and we are at the gold level. We have iron, cobblestone and the entrance. Let's go up to the entrance. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, that's actually not that bad. It's only like 20 seconds. But now we have to actually make the gold farm and I've never made one of these. So we're going to spend a little time here in the storage room to get some blocks together. And it's mostly just running around looking through my toolboxes and crafting a few components here and there. As this is going to be an underground farm. So I don't have to have that many decorational blocks. Don't need much more blocks here, but I do need a few more crushing wheels. So I've already messed up the recipe. And in the middle, and I was gonna say at this point you know the recipe, but I I, I just seem to be bad at placing things in the boxes. Perfect for crushing wheels. I already had a few because I need six in total, I believe. And these are right here should have all of the create components plus this. But before we head over there and start fixing, I need to repair my shovel. And I was about to fly over to the XP farm, but I might just trade a little bit with villagers, to be honest. I'm gonna buy some bells because I can. Yeah, that's the, that's the only reason. Yep, the shovel is repaired enough. Might have to repair the shovel yet again a little later because I have been doing a bunch of terraforming lately. 
but it's good enough for now. So let's grab our toolboxes and shulker ones and run over to the gold mine. We definitely need to do a little more love up here to this little cave and maybe like some sort of like holder for the elevator with some girders, but I'll fix that in a little bit as I want to get the farm in first. And as I arrived down in the deep slate area, I had to start digging to fit this gold farm in. And well, we have quite a lot of space to work with. It's not a massive farm, I will admit that, but it's gonna take a little bit to fill this cave with create components all over the place. And I'm thinking we start from the start of the process and finish off at the end with the gold vault that's gonna be right over here in this corner. And well, the first order of business is gonna be even more digging as I need to dig out the space for the vault up here in the roof. This right here should do it. So we just pop in a vault of here. And this is going to be the first little storage here for cobblestone, which we get from the cobblestone up there. But we'll get the cobblestone hooked up the last thing we do. Now, from the bottom of this, we want to bring out a smart chute, which we want to do right here. On the back side, right over here, we'll place our first set of crushing wheels. So that's going to get us our gravel. And then we can do that two blocks down. We can place two more, which I'm not a huge fan of. So we'll actually move those up one block. And that will get us our sand and Part of our clay and below this we can get in another shoot and yeah more digging we got to get a little vault in here run that across to right here and i think we want to get in a little bit of logic down here and a little bit of an overflow so if we grab a threshold switch which i might even oh, i do have one of those perfect two redstone links we can put that right down here and then when this is say we'll do a 99 percent and when it's at 10 percent it will start filling up again and we place one of those and we get one of those as well on the back side of the chute up here and that should turn all of that off then i also want to get a funnel down here which we can place right here and that's going to output into lava or a fire same thing and maybe we can even use the gravel right here next to us to get a piece of flint as i i, I forgot to grab that please there we go which that is gonna output because we we don't really want to keep the flint now i want to get the major components in first of this whole farm so we're going to continue on from this without hooking it up and once we have all of the components which is mostly going to go over here then we can hook everything up and then we can have the fun time decorating it all but the next step is going to be for us to get our sand and our clay from out of this vault and get it transported to right over there where we can turn it into clay blocks we will start with another vault so we have a goal in mind and this is where we want the clay to to arrive and the clay should be super easy if we just take a belt running over to here and then one going up and that can go in while the sand is going to be a little harder as we need to run that also on a belt to over here but that belt also needs to wash it. So I'm thinking we've definitely got to grab some funnels and we've got to grab some brass tunnels where we can have one output there, one output here. Then we have a brass funnel there and a brass funnel over here and our inputs right over there. I oh, forgot more filter items. Slab, you keep doing this. Back up I go, I guess. And now back down here, we can place a clay ball in there. And we can also get a play clay ball right over there. And oh, I have the sand here, but I don't have it on me, which I got right there. And we can place that on that one. Perfect. Perfect. And I also think, yes, I'm definitely going to want equals 64 on that one. And now, yes, we are going to have to wash this. So we're going to get some encased fans, encased chain drives, put that back and probably a few shafts, which that's not the shaft stem. There we go. As right below this, we're going to need a line of water. And uh, not breaking the thing stamp. Under this, we're going to need our fans blowing upwards. And then we're going to need to get some power to that from below. And to fix that, we can just add a shaft there and then a gearbox. But I want to click this on the side. How do I? Yeah, there we go. Because I want a vertical one, of course. And then some encase chain drives on the bottom of those. Some of the right there, a shaft. And we need to get one more in here. Otherwise, that's going to spin the wrong direction. And that one actually doesn't matter which way it's spinning. Perfect. And we can just fill our way back up here because, well, we are not going to be needing to be down there i'm gonna keep a water source over here for now i think just because i can and i'm gonna need a bunch of water for this as the bottom right here is definitely gonna be needed to covered with some water there we go i will go back a little on what i said and i do definitely want to get some casings in here right now because this is looking very ugly and we're gonna have to get those on the sides as well just to cover that up. But that should be all of that fixed up. And we'll just add in a little floor there so that, that I don't fall down with a little bit of glass so that you can see it's melting away, I was going to say, but it's being washed. And with our clay bolts now in a vault, we have to compact them into clay blocks.
And this is the machine to turn the clay balls into clay blocks. The vault is right behind here. We export the clay balls into the basins. And then we have a metal press pressing it down. And we get clay blocks put on this belt right here. Which is going to move into the next step. Which if you know how to create gold. Which I can show you real quickly. If we search up gold here. We can go to gold nugget. And then we go to washing. And I need to wash red sand. Or you can wash soul sand. But that has a very low chance of giving gold. But if you look at the red sand. You can get them from granite or terracotta. Terracotta, we're going the terracotta way and the terracotta we get from clay which we already have all of the methods to get now so next up is going to be blasting this clay and to do this i'm going to want a depot right here then we're going to want another four depots over here where we can get a mechanical arm that takes from that one and depots on these four and that can sit right in there again above this we're going to need some bars first and then we're going to need some fans right up here and we're going to get some lava there but we'll do that shortly on the bottom of these depots over here we're going to want some shoots to depot the items and we're gonna want to depot only the terracotta of course which we do just like that i want to convert this into one output and the easiest way to do that is just to add in a two by two vault and then apparently do a little bit more digging because i haven't dug out all i need because that's that's that seems to be the theme around here for now and here what we're gonna need down here is a shaft going over in this direction eh. No, can I, can I place you this way, please? Thank you. Which we actually could only have two blocks if we wanted to. Then we put a gearbox here and here, which we flip upwards. And some of you might see where this is going. And we can also get one in this corner to give that some power eventually. As if we use that to get out of there. And we run over and grab two crushing wheels. This is going to be a crushing setup. As this is how we get our red sand from our terracotta. Then just a quick funnel and another depot right at the end over here. And with this here, we'll be moving into the final step of this. Which is going to be washing the sand we just got so i'm gonna make a little bit of an old sluice box here and it might not fit the rest of the mine but i'm still gonna do it we're also gonna place in our final vault right over here another encased fan right there and i think the best way would be a depot with one of those outputting and then we have an input right over here and then we take an arm to get that from there up to here which i'll have to admit might not look the best with it grabbing but it could grab down there the shaft is there so it could probably fit between there but that's all of the actual like create components i have to hook it up but we get cobblestone from up here which gets crushed into sand the sand gets washed and the clay that we also get from that gets put into the vault over here which then turns into clay blocks and then oh we need a chest here actually because we can place a casing there and a barrel up there just for a small little buffer we can grab in there and it can output over here oh no this is the wrong way there we go perfect the clay box then gets smelted into terracotta and then the terracotta gets crushed into sand and the sand washed into gold with what water right there Perfect. And just like the last episode, I will be doing a second channel upload with this one. So if you want to head over to the second channel and check that out, make sure to do it. Where I'll also be answering a few comments I got on the last video. But with the farm slightly explained, I had to go and hook everything up so it actually works as well. And that should have everything hooked up. I'm leaving my entrances open for now. I'll close them up eventually. But everything on the backside here looks hooked up. Everything is hooked up. I'm going to need this for a little later as we are going to do some decorating over on this side. And we're going to decorate the rest as well a little more. But everything is hooked up and it should all be connected to one source. And I kind of want to test it before we get to decorating. Because, well, if it's running while I'm decorating, I can get some more gold. And, um, yeah, I have done one mistake. Uh, I, I won't have gold ingots. I will have gold nuggets because um, I um, I forgot to add in the compactor and I, I, I'm just not going to do it. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's 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 a feature. Oh, and before we head up there, we can grab two redstone links. Yep, that's going to be perfect. And then uh, do I have any cobblestone? I don't. I have a gold and we'll use uh, deep state iron ore. Sure. As before I head up, I quickly want to add in a switch to this thing so that it turns off the gold in or the cobblestone input whenever it gets full. So when this gets to... Okay, we'll, we'll do it 100%. We'll do eh, we'll do 95. We'll get a redstone link on that. And then a sand. Not a sand at all. Deep slate and go. And let's take the elevator up to the cobblestone level. Here we are. Still got to decorate this. But we'll do that once we're done downstairs. As I need to hook up an output from here to, well, over that way. No, actually, not looking at the coordinates. It's going to have to be over in the wall over... Oh, I forgot I had haste up here. Oops. It's going to have to be over in the wall over here. Right here? No, two more blocks this way. 
wait. No, one block back. Here. Right here. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's actually pretty easy. Okay, cool. That should lock that, and that goes to the iron farm. Perfect. This is gonna work out perfectly. Now I just have to hook it up to all of the other things, and ooh, I've just thought about something. If I turn off the gravel machine up there, that's gonna turn off this. So... Yeah, it'll be fine. So I might as well actually use this to power that, and we'll get that over there. Shafts going this way, and a case right there. And uh, oh, yep, that's that's working. Uh, uh, stop it. Okay, perfect. It's it's clearly working. <laughs> well, this is working out perfectly actually. I haven't even checked that. And this block right here is actually the block that needs to go down to power the underside of all of this. But then again, now this is hooked up to the. Oh help! Oh no 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 not crushing wheels. Whew. Okay, I I wasn't gonna land in the crushing wheels, but um I won't go into it. It's too traumatic. And this is where we can also speed it up to 256 if you just place a cog right there and that right there cool and this is gonna be all the way sped up and all i should have to do is grab all of the shafts i have and um head down there which we can do through the pile of cobblestone of course perfect oh right the elevator is up there i guess i, guess I can just fly out to be fair that's a little faster. Whoa. And then down again we go. As I am... Um, I'm digging this up again and going down. And okay, this is the last shaft here. Hopefully all of this is gonna work. But looking down there, those are spinning the wrong way. So we're just gonna add in an extra gearbox right here. And hopefully that should fix it. Those are not spinning the correct way, which means everything else should be spinning the correct way. Let's see. Okay, those are spinning inwards. That belt isn't spinning. We'll have to fix that in just a second. That is spinning. That belt isn't spinning, which is because the bottom belt isn't spinning. That fan is blowing the correct way. Why is then the bottom belt spinning? Because that isn't spinning because that isn't spinning. Mm, yes, yeah, spinning. Oh, because I know why. There isn't anything on that block. And now those are going the correct way. Perfect. Now everything is blowing the correct way. We are just missing a little bit of lava. So we'll get us going all the way up to the top. And I should have some buckets on me because I need four buckets of lava. And entering our steam power plant. I just need to swap out these buckets. Right, now you have all the buckets. Uh... Thank you. I just need to swap on one of these out on all of them. And I should have four lava buckets instead. Close the door on my way out. And let's head back down there because it's nighttime and I'm scared of the dark. I'm not, but um, I'm scared of monsters. And oh, I've just gone down here with the lava. I should have turned on the cobblestone on my way down. <laughs> well, we can at least add this in. And I'm sure you don't need the source blocks, but you know, it feels better. Now I, I've got to head back up there and, and turn the cobblestone on. Because we can get that there and that cobblestone should be going... Uh, is it just too fast? Now I gotta race down there and see if it's working because it, it seemed like it was flying, but I'm guessing it's just too fast and it's all falling. Oh, it looks like it's working. I, I mean, it sounds like it. I also don't get why it does the gravel faster than the, the sand. Oh, that's that's so annoying. So that gravel's just gonna... Oh, what if we clean it up a bit? Will it, will it redo it? Mm, it's burning the flint. Perfect. Is the whole process actually working? Okay. Oh, we have rad, red sand already. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get the deep on the funnel over here. And I want to set this to 63. Because 63 makes sense. Because that's a whole stack. Exactly 63, please. Okay. I did not expect it all to be working. That's, that's a sight. Oh. Yeah, it's building up on gravel. Uh, just sent out a cry for help in the creator discord and Polar told me if I just... How do I do this the easiest way? Oh god. If I just slap a shoot here in the middle, that should fix my issue. I think. Hopefully. I will admit being a creator has its perks where you can get help without really having to figure stuff out, which is very, very helpful. We've not made a stack of nuggets yet, but um, I, mean, I guess it's a slow cooker. If you actually do look at the chance of this happening, it's still only a 12% chance, so it's quite slim. Do we have any dead bushes? Oh, we do. I like dead bushes. Hmm, maybe I want to save those somehow. Well, now we have a fully working gold farm, but it's not looking the best. It's not looking bad, but we can definitely make this look a whole lot better. And well, I want to start with this little area right over here, because this is going to be purely decorational. But, you know me. I, li I like purely decorational. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to, I'm going to extend down the middle, just one block here, and then we'll dig this down eventually almost all the way down to bedrock just because we can. And I'll show you why we want to do that in just a second here. But first I want to set up two loops, one loop of cobblestone and one of deep slate. So let's start with the cobblestone one here where we first of all can take a rotation speed controller and get that in right over here. 
as we definitely want to speed this down and i want it around 32 running into this shaft right over here which is spinning the correct way perfect that's gonna go out all the way to right here where i want to take a couple of shoots and put them let's see we'll start there and then we'll go up into the roof in case this one here at the bottom and the one at the top right there and then ooh. We can add in some windows on those using our wrench. Then if we take a fan and we put that at the bottom of this right here, that's going to be blowing upwards. Perfect. In here, right here, we'll have a vault, a funnel. Then we have another funnel right there. This one, we're going to limit to exactly one. And then we have an andesite funnel here in the middle that the items are going to be appearing from. And if we make our way upwards here, continuing a shoot line up to right here, and then we go sideways from this, we'll meet with this right here, which we'll actually go ahead and move as I want to place in a shaft and then connect a shaft up to over here. And that's going to be our loop. Bring some power up here. We'll do that right on this side. And I shouldn't need to be up here that much more. So we'll just go ahead and go down. I'm definitely going to need to run and get some more shafts though, because I am running super low on these we can place one in there one here and a gearbox right here to get some power up to there a stack of cobblestone anywhere here i do not or maybe i do in here i do okay perfect because if we throw this on the vault right here that's gonna let one of those in and up to the belt that's at the top there and then it's going to come back down on this side and it's just going to go around and around and around, which is uh, purely decorational. It's a loop, but it's meant to symbolize cobblestone coming out of the wall here through this andesite funnel or tunnel and then going up into the crushing setup, which I have just noticed this vault is should be one block longer. Boom. But the cobblestone doesn't really appear from anything, which is what we got to work from next. And we're down at the deep slate level. And I'm thinking if you just wash the deep slate, you're going to get cobblestone. Um, I don't think that's how it works. I think it's two different types of stones, to be fair. But it can work like that for the sake of the farm. But before we can get to that loop, I've got to head up and grab more shafts because I'm completely out of them. Which to get started on, we're just going to extend down a little bit of stone right here to maybe there. Moving out from that, we're going to want to bring down a slope, which we can get to right there. And I've just picked something up. I feel like, but I didn't apparently. Then this can go in to this side of the mountain here where we will grab another belt and then one more over here. And this is going to move upwards as we need to get it around to like up here. And this is really cool. I spent a lot of time trying to figure this out in a creative world and I've got something really cool to fit in here. But first we've got to make the track, which is going to be right up to here. So not very far, but it is going upwards. Then right next to this, I want to get in a three by three vault. This is simply to not move them sideways any bit and still get it up and back the way it came from. And this is going to be that complete belt. It's quite a long one, but it's going to be perfect because now we're right over this hole here in the middle and we're going to place an item vault right here. Then jumping down, I want to grab a sticky piston and some extension poles for that. So we can run back up here or walk or climb and we can add that in. And then on top of this, no, not like that. Why would I want to place it like that? Like this, we can add in four poles. Then with a funnel right there and one over here and down there. This is basically our loop completed, except we're going to need a funnel facing this block right here as well. And then remove that. And this is basically the loop completed. So the deep slate is going to go down here, go around, and then that pole is going to extend that vault down into that. Okay, so I've hooked it all up and I've done some redstone and stuff over here so that this will spin when this is activated here and the vault will go down because otherwise the whole thing wouldn't work of course but now i need to get first of all the main thing in here with all this detailing and the thing i'm most excited about we're actually before we do that first of all we're going to get a tunnel in right over here perfect put some casings on this thing up to there and then if we get metal girders i want to get those on the bottom right here but i want them like standing facing upwards so i should just be able to do that and then the same on this side Yes, that works. Perfect. Then we can get some chains here going up into the roof. And these big chains look perfect for holding these things up. And then I also do want to get a tank here in the back. As we did say that I wanted to look like we're washing these things. And together with that, we can have some pipes that go out like that. And then down into that. And maybe one into the wall, something like that. But now I would need water in here for decoration purposes. Which I could probably fix with just a mechanical pump. Maybe a few pipes. I definitely got to get some inventory space though. We can do maybe 
be right here to just save on space. We get a pump in looking. We'll do hmm. being very temporary. We just need to get something that works for now. Where one more water source here should start filling that. Perfect. It's not going to be the fast, but it should work out. And while that's filling up, let's get this elevator in here. And well, it's not going to be an elevator, but it is using an elevator block. I'm going to want a couple of drills. And I think you can see where this is going. Let's start off here at the bottom to get a drill in right there. Then we're going to have a few drills on each side of this. And I did want this spinning, but I can't have it going downwards and spinning at the same time because I don't have create interactive or anything like that. But what I do have is some shoots which will go right up to the top right there. Then around that we get a few vaults in here. One in front of the funnel right there which is going to work now but it's not going to work when we make this into a contraption and that's why we have that vault up there and you'll see how it all works in just a second. Around this as well we can extend in some metal girders as that's going to look amazing to give it a little bit of support and could even be maybe some pipes to transfer the stone up to there. Oh I didn't even think about that or the middle does that then we're gonna need a few redstone contact blocks here where i'm gonna want one facing this way and one looking into that that's gonna be our elevator blocks and then if we just get up here i want a few decorational ones and does that that you are the wrong way can i rotate you aha i can Perfect. And I think that's pretty much it for the drill. I just need my glue, which is right here. We'll grab the top shoot up there if I can reach it. There we go. Then we'll go down to that one. Then I think we're going to grab one across right here. And one from there to right over here. Perfect. I'm running out of time for today as I'm going skiing here in just a little bit. But I've got some logic set up back here for this mining drill to go up and down. And I can't really explain this. This is kind of pure luck that it works. But it's basically a timer that times it whenever it gets to either down there or up here. And to get this to work for now, I've just got to go down there and place a redstone contact. And yeah, this looks dark enough. So let's get a redstone contact. Not facing that way, facing that way. Turn it into in elevator one perfect then on this i'm gonna need two redstone links we'll put one right here and um one right here one of these are going to be receiving a signal and that's going to be i think deep slate and gold and then the other one is uh oh does that mean i think the drill is going down yep it's definitely going down that's that's fine then on this side we're going to have one sending off and that's going to be golden gravel so now that drill bit is going to go down all the way into the ground that's going to take a little while as it's not spinning the fastest but it just needs to go down there and clear it where you're going to have to clear a little more space but i really don't have the time today but once that get down there it should go back up so i guess we'll just have to wait for that so while we're for that i might grab some brass catwalks here to create a little border and i've just played around a little bit with how you place these in 1.20 and oh my god i love it so much more and the fact that you can have railings on stairs oh my god But that makes it a little safer to be around. And I want to be back here once it actually gets down into the ground. But I want to run and grab some deep slate. And some cobble deep slate, that is. So to do that the fastest way, we're just going to go up here and break that depot right there. So that we can get some stacks of deep slate. And this doesn't have to be too many. And I think actually this will be fine right there. As it just needs something to cycle through. And I yes, we should just be able to pop these on the belt right here. And I think it has stopped down there, which means... Means... Uh, no, I forgot to place in the second one, so it didn't actually go off. Okay, we'll do we'll do it manually once. It should start moving upwards soon, hopefully. I hope, maybe. Must have been 30 seconds by now, surely. All right, we'll just toggle off by hand. And yes, it's coming back up. Perfect. And we're about to see this for the first time. Hopefully it all works. The deep state should have been loaded up into the barrel there now. And that comes up. Yes, the vault goes down. And no deep state goes out of it. Well, I think I know what I'm missing. I'm probably missing a funnel up there. Mm, yep, definitely was missing a funnel. And where's all my deep state gone now? Uh-oh. But if the logic is all right over here... No, it's, it's not working. Uh, oh, I forgot a gold piece here. Okay, that should trigger it though. Cool. Okay, perfect. Now it would have wait a minute, but we're going to skip that minute. And yes, the drill is going down. Perfect. And the vault is back up there. That should get loaded now. We'll just wait a little bit and then we'll send it back up. Or I do want to see if the circuit actually works on the upside down as well. Oh, yep, that worked. As now it should just be 30 seconds and it should come back up. Oh, yes, it's going. Okay, cool. And wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. That goes up. No. Oh, huh? Oh, wait. This is supposed to sit here, I think. Maybe. Uh, 
Oh, something's not working. Okay, that works now. That's gonna go and send that down. And the display comes out perfect, but this isn't working. Okay, that block should be there right now. But the gold farm definitely works. Everything moving around. We're getting gold output over here, and that's absolutely perfect. Now I just need to figure out the actual use for the gold. With a gold farm build, I actually did a little more terraforming on stream. And um, and well, I'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot of terraforming on stream, to be fair. But I did it in a new place. Because I actually created a cave in here. And for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you know, this is the cave that I've actually gone mining for basically all of my ores at least in the early game of the create world and well i've filled it in and created a cave and also this bridge which i really really like and i do have to say it looks kind of odd where they're not being a hole up here but i actually let you guys decide on what i should decorate this cave with because well the cave looks really good but i want to make some sort of a small custom cave by a minute and most of the viewers on the stream wanted a lush cave but i really wanted a mushroom cave and so someone suggested that i should do a lush room cave. We combine the mushroom and the shrooms. Wait, that's the same thing. We combine the mushrooms and the lush. But first to even start this project in here, I need a few blocks. So let's grab some shulkers and I want to head back instantly as I need to do a quick stop over here at the barn to grab a bunch of moss, which, um, yes. Uh, okay. I thought I was almost out of it. Mm, so moss carver can also be good and I don't think I'll need the acelia bushes. And I can finally craft a bag of rice to fully finish the barn. Yeah. Perfect. Now I'm hoping I have a few glow berries, which, um, uh, yeah. oh, definitely needs a glow lichen. Lily pads could be nice. Um, rooted dirt is always good, but I really, really, really want some glow berries. And looking at these, I want oak leaves in this, so I'm gonna have to go gather a few of those as well. But before we go and grab those, a stack of glow berries. That should work. And all that is left is just to gather up a few oak leaves. Well, I've just realized this is not the shulker box and neither is that. So I, I grabbed the wrong shulker box. But I'm having to fly out even further now to not render the trees that I break. Because I got a PC upgrade and I could easily play on double the render distance of what I used to. And I love it so much. Except that I have to fly a little further. Now that I do think about it, some mud. Probably won't hurt the build. Yep, that's not the side I want to see when I get back here. I thought I'd lit it up. At least there's no creepers. Now, I do have a vague idea of what I want to do in here, but not the greatest. So I'm just going to start with a small portion of the cave and then we can extend it to the rest. Now, I definitely am a fan of this, and I do want to expand it, but I, I did realize I forgot the mushrooms. I do want to have some smaller mushrooms up here at the top, because I couldn't really figure out how I would want to do them. And then I'm going to have the bigger, more glowing ones below here for, like, a cool little, like, I, I, I don't know what to call it, but it, it's going to be a cool under, under, I, I don't know. But for mushrooms, I actually did build a little mushroom farm in a little cave over here when I was working over in this area. Where if we just harvest some of these, we should be able to get ourselves a bunch of mushrooms. And of course, I also have a brown one. Then do I have a bunch of extra ones over here? No, I don't. Because I was actually thinking that these mushrooms are perfect. But I need a little bit of bone meal to run that. And we really need to fix this area up. We should probably do that today. Especially considering that the one sword that I have there can't keep up with the three spawners. But let's not worry about that right now as I need some mushrooms. So let's put some bone meal down here and let it go. Yeah, it, it's loud. But it works quite well. And quickly looking over here in the GI. Do we have any cool like mushroom variants? We kind of do. Oh, oh, and we have some more here. I'm going to go ahead and make an extra botanist workbench. Which should allow me to have a little more fun with these mushrooms. Taking a step back here with a little bit of glow lichen and the mushrooms in there. I think this is looking really good. With the small sample area done, I felt confident with covering the rest of the cave with the same sort of decorations. Going for a very lush vibe and sprinkling in a couple of mushrooms.
I did decide to scrap the idea of too many mushrooms in here, but I do think we kind of nailed this place anyways. We got some spore blossoms up here on the roof, making some green particles. We got this little pond down here, lit it up, some lily pads, and just a little bit of greenery. And I think a lush cave works out pretty nicely. We do also have like these mushrooms, but they're, they're not the big mushrooms I planned for. But this cave is frankly a little too small. But I want to move on to the outside of caves, and I booted up my stream to fix the terrain in front of the string factory. This has been a mess since episode one and I really wanted to get something a little nicer in here. And this right here is what we ended up with. And I am really happy with it. I redid the river over here. Still have a little work to do on that. Then I added in a pond and another river cutting down to the real river or well a little stream i guess cutting down to the river also decided to connect the path over from the farming area through this area and over to this factory area over here and eventually the city expansion which i am so excited about i really really want to build a train station and stuff over here so yeah the path still has to be connected through here but i'll do that in the future but for now i want to get a few more details in here so i drew up a quick plan to transition the farming area into the town first thing i want to get into this area is going to be a small little farmer's house first coming in with a simple stone mix for some foundation walls which if we take some mangrove here and extend up the walls on top of this i'm thinking we go super simple with a spruce roof Almost done here, but the shape is looking a little boring, so I'm thinking we extend out a little shed thing here in the front. Well, I will say the area is starting to come together. I still have a little more work and I do want to get a second building in there, but I'm still not quite sure on the design of that. So I'm going to wait a little bit. So meanwhile, I do actually want to rework this thing. This is my skeleton grinder and there is three skeletons in the side of this grinder and it works very very badly it is it is not very good so i want to tear that down and rebuild it but i also want to incorporate that into the city with its own house and i've started a little bit of material gathering but we still have quite a bit to go so first of all let's head over to the lumber mill and gather up a bunch of different wood types That is actually quite a lot more wood than I thought I would be needing for this build, but that's just exciting. Next thing, okay, let's make a new stack of mud, and if we flip the page of my storage room, uh, where's my, it's right, yeah, there we go, wheat, and we can make some more packed mud. Keep most of this is normal, and then I think it's the botanist bench, yes it is, okay, and we turn some of that into small packed mud bricks. Yes. Another block that I should just have here is... I have a little bit of pink terracotta, actually. That's a little surprising. Now I need to flip back around because I forgot to grab the die, which is right over here. This is the one downside by this storage. Otherwise, I'm loving it. It's it's at least really cool. But we create some pink die and we can create a little bit more pink terracotta. Perfect. Shulker boxes sorted with materials. Uh, nope. Gotta sweep first. Also, I've just thought about it. My bed is floating. And there is such an easy fix to that. Just two copycat panels. And we just put those right below here. Oh, that looks so much better. Anyhow, moving over to the skeleton farm here. I've already prepped the schematic cannon here. With blocks for the actual farm transformation. I feel like I've done enough create talkie talkie today. But don't you worry. You know, there will be that second episode where I go through how it works. But before we can get that running, I need to disable the farm. Or maybe I don't need to disable it, but I'm just going to do it. And then I'm going to dismantle this thing down here. Because I kind of want to keep the, like, mechanical gearbox or what, oh, what is it called? I'm being smart. I kind of want to keep that. And I also kind of want to keep the, the sword that's in there. But that's now gone. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a pretty good sword. Actually, that's better than my sword. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that should be enough. It should hopefully repair all of it. I'm I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm actually going to remove the water as well. Because I'm not sure how good it is with water. And well, the new design isn't going to have any water in it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You should subscribe. But now I am going to let this run. And we can start building. Before this, I'm thinking I'm going to start right over here. And start extending in some mud walls. And why I want to start out here is because I want to bring out some sort of a market stand here. Where if we get a quartz and warp slab and we stack that up 
back to the house wall, which should. Yes, it's going to be at that height. And I just need to get it down one block and follow over this way. So we get a little bit of market stand. As I'm thinking, this will be a bone, bone meal store. Maybe like in... Yeah, I, I, I don't know which door would sell bones, honestly. That's, that's pretty, pretty sinister. But, you know, disregarding that. And we can get a little table out here where we maybe can sell some things on that. Or at least display them. And then we're going to have a house wall extending over this way for sure. Which, why don't we go ahead and plan out for the floor in here? Because I think we go super simple here with just some spruce planks. And I'm going to make a little small interior in here at least. And try to do that in this city going forward. I, I can't promise anything. It's interiors we're talking about here. With the house here marked out now, we can go ahead and extend up some foundations here. First of all, here, I definitely want to add in a little bit of depth here, extending this one block out. So we're going to on top of this to get a start on the second story of this building, which if we use a line of just jungle planks, then we start extending in some normal planks here on top of this. This is a build path I haven't tried before, and I'm excited to test out. We grab some of our manga over here. And I think we just got to continue it. I've been doing only red roofs in the city. And I can't really change that now. And I also really, really like it. So I'm going to keep going. Adding in a barn style roof to this spot here. I think it's going to look perfect. If we just get that extended up. And then we can go ahead and connect this up to the wall right over here. Of course, we've also got to decorate the windows up here on the second floor. If we get those in. Then let's see. We can do a spruce trap door on top. We can do some darko trapdoors in there. Then a fence gate, just like that. And then we have one on the side here, like it's half open. And I can't place it on there. How would I? How would I even? Uh, no, that's not going to help me. Oh, there we go. And then two flower pots, some white roots, and white tulips. Perfect. Let's get some fence gates in here. We'll get a window in on this, of course. A leaf in front of that. I'm probably going to dig up this hill eventually, but I'll leave it for now. And a little window on the backside here. With our first half of this house down, I moved on to finish up the rest of the walls for the main portion. Definitely starting to look good, and I very much like this outcropping. This is something that I definitely want to have in my future cities. More of these outcroppings. And I think to do that, I've got to go bigger on the buildings. I'm learning a lot building this city, and I have been learning a lot from building cities in the past. And for this one, I have thrown my fear of building tall buildings out of the window, and it's turning out so much better than my last city. Anyways, I want to get started on a roof, and I'm going to use a block palette I have used quite recently, actually in the last episode, now that I think about it. And it's going to be that one right up there. It's sort of red. It's close enough. We, we do have a pink roof over there. This roof actually turned out really nicely. I first placed scaffolding here to place the windows, but then I kind of liked it, so I'm keeping it, and I think it's gonna work out pretty well. But um, yeah, you're all you're all seeing seeing that, right? That that side is completely missing. So we're gonna start off pretty similar with extending out some spruce here on the bottom, and this might not be add too much space to the inside, but it looks cool on the outside, and that's really what I go for here. Get the leaves in already, why not? And get that built up just like that. It's not gonna be very tall. And then on top of this, we just do a mangrove roof again. Keeping it simple, of course. And windows don't have to be anything really special. And I have had the rule going that I'm not going to add any flower pots to things facing outside of the city. So this is facing outside of the city. And oh my god, I'm absolutely loving this world. Seeing what you are building coming together like this world is coming together for me right now. It's it's amazing. It's such an amazing feeling. And this actually finishes off this building. And if we fly up here, this is going to be how far the city stretches. It's going to go all the way over here. And well, currently we're over there and we have a... A lot of work to do to get over here. Yeah, that's gonna be a project and a half. But future times, future times. For now, I wanna. Oh, no, 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 no. Hello. Ooh. Okay. No, no creepers allowed. Thank you. What I was gonna say is that I want to get ourselves down into the skeleton spawner. Yes, there it is. Just that in a simple roof here, as I'm not going to be using the second story at all. And now we can start grabbing a staircase going down here into the actual farm. 
And yes, oh, it's looking good. Uh, I probably need to head in there and just see so that all works out. I'm just going to get the staircase fixed up first. Now, I am about to power this on, but before I do that, I actually do want to show how it works real quickly for those of you that aren't going to watch the actual video explaining the mechanism completely. And this is it. So there's a redstone lamp up here that I can unpower and power from the control room, which is that room right there. And then there's some sauce here and a nozzle and a fan. And it's a very efficient. Which is why I don't want to be in here when it's on because um it will murder me too. So let's get a gear in here and that's going to be spinning the opposite way at max speed. Oh yeah, that's that's lethal. So if we just go ahead and turn that like that. Oh, yep. I'm pretty sure you can hear what happened just now. And we get bones. Perfect. Oh, I have actually noticed something is missing back here as we just need a few flames. Yeah, it's um efficient to say the least. Is so fast. Wow. I have also done a little more decoration up here, added in some bone meal and some bones and a flower in the corner here. And also on the desk out here, just to show that it is a bone shop, which still is a little weird. But that is definitely this building done. And with that skeleton farm done, I had one more area that I wanted to touch up on. So I went live and with the help of stream chat, decided to build a fishing hut that sits above a little dock area. And I also finished decorating the area around it and and everybody say hi to Pondus. And Pondus is my cat. And this is the pond version of my cat. We're working on Tetra Pack to get it to actually look like Pondus. But I am actually really happy with this little fishing gear. We have a little filleting station up here. We got some fishing nets hanging off drying or whatever you do with fishing nets when you hang them up like this. And then down here I have my fishing rod that I sometimes use on streams. And I got a little boat and a little shed and even some notes on how much people lost betting on streams. And then of course the fields also continued all the way over here and it's eventually going to transition into the city. I also finally finished up this area over here and although I do notice I need a few more blocks there. Perfect, that, that will turn to dirt. But I actually added a little staircase up here and a little stop for the train. Another area here or one of the biggest projects I have been working on during this month has definitely been this side of the mountain as it was a complete mess and I've just been shipping away at it a little bit here and there. And well, this is where the terrain is. It's pretty basic terrain. And I do like the train line, but I have some awesome plans to build a port here as it's quite close to the ocean, which is just right behind me there. And I just think it's the perfect place for it, but I definitely don't have time for that today. If you did watch this entire video, I just want to say a massive thank you. This is my first video of 2024, and I hope to make this year even better than my last one. And well, last one was really crazy. So thank you so very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.